All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue doing our illustration here of the child. And yeah, let's do it. So the next step that I wanted to do was to make the lines more interesting just by using the width tool here. And I'll use my drawing as a guide, but really, you know, it's kind of just uh, as I want to do it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab the width tool. And, and, and I realized, and I even said it earlier, uh, I should have waited to duplicate my different sides until, uh, you know, I should have waited till I did the width tool to them. Totally forgot as I got into the drawing. And it's not really too late for that. So um, let's see. Let's see how it goes here. So I'm going to go ahead and make some of these lines a little thinner as they get uh, to the end here. But what I want to do is preserve the, uh, the width. And to do that, I have to kind of pick a point where I still want it to be kind of wider, like there. And then go ahead and make it smaller. OK, and that'll kind of keep it wide. OK, let's keep the same thing over here. So I'm just kind of looking where I had it wider. And then I'm going to bring it down a little bit. OK, same with here. So first I'm going to kind of preserve the width. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. And let's see. Yeah, let's keep that kind of thicker. And then get thinner. OK. Let's go a little thinner there. Then let's get thicker here. And not quite that thick, maybe. But I do like it thicker. And let me see how it looks like that. It looks not bad. But I think I do want to get it. I grabbed the wrong one. I think I do want to keep it thick. Moving along. Okay, it looks nice and thick here. And then I want it to get thinner, I think, as it gets up there. And a little more at the point here. Okay, let's zoom out and see where I'm at here. And I'm going to do this. Maybe it looks a little too thick here. Bring it down just a little. And maybe a little thicker. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Moving on here. Okay, like the little thickness in the cheek there. And then, how do I want to go? I think I want to keep it. No, maybe not quite that thick. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. So why not cheat? So that means I'm going to have to do that again. And... Uh, eyebrow... Why not? We'll just duplicate it all. Well, not all of it. But you know what I mean. Alright, there we go. Selected the ear, the eyebrow, and the cheek. I'm going to do that again. Uh, object, transform, reflect, Vertical, copy, while it's selected, move it, hold down shift, and try and get them into place here. How's that looking? Okay, not bad. Okay, with tool again, just moving along. 
give the nose a little something, bring it in just a smidge, and same with the mouth, a little wider, and then I'm going to take the corners and just pinch them in just a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, moving down to the clothing. And get a little thinner over here, maybe. And then get thicker. Maybe as it comes forward. And this line, I'm going to adjust this line to get it to curve a little more, like I have in my drawing. Shift W for the width tool. I don't use that shortcut too often. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of look at this. I'm not crazy about the way it turned out here. Go Shift W again. Maybe a little thinner. Maybe a little thicker over here. Let's see. Maybe a little more curve will help. Okay. Shift W. Um, so, I guess a good question might be, and how do you know what lines to make thicker and what to make thinner? And um, I can't say I have an exact formula. Uh, I'm kind of following what I intuitively did with my drawing. And then kind of what I think looks nice or pleasing right like kind of looks nice to have the cheeks get thicker here um i just kind of like the way it got thicker behind here as it went i you know is there any exact reason why that would be the right way and not not really necessarily a lot of times illustrators um we we will do the like bottom lines thicker you know like um so it looks heavier, like like the bottom of this um, neck, <laughs> thick, fuzzy thing, whatever he, whatever's got going on in the uh, outfit he wears. Uh, you know, like the bottom would be thicker, but, you know, I guess it's more about what looks pleasing and what looks good, what gives it a nice little organic feel. A lot of times the, the points we want to make thinner, so that, that is one one thing that kind of is usually um, the way to go. So as, as lines get um, curves, maybe the, the, the fatter part would be on the curve more so, but not necessarily all the time. Um, this, so on this sphere here, I'm definitely just going to make the bottom a little thicker so it feels like maybe like a shadow, a little heavier towards the bottom. I'm trying to zoom in over there. Zoomed in in the wrong spot. Same with this here, too. I'll try and make the thicker and then get a little thinner as it goes to the top. Okay, definitely not trying to grab that line. I'm trying to grab this line, which is proving rather tricky. It's ballooning out the side. It's kind of funny. Okay. Okay, I can see I got an extra kind of point there. Okay, let's see if I can grab this line here. That's the point I want. But I'll be darned, it will not let me get it. So, 
to isolate this, what I can do is go here, lock it. Now I can go to the width tool over here and make sure I can grab it. That is much faster than trying to fiddle with this stupid thing. Okay, another line that wants me to grab it. So let's go ahead and find that one. Lock it. Shift W. There we go. That's the look I wanted. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unlock them now. Okay, I'm just going to go, nope, wrong line. Now this one looks a little too thick. Okay. Don't want to get too pointy here. Okay, and this line here, does it need any? I'll just give it a little bit of something. I'll leave that alone for now. Okay, this one I'll definitely make thicker towards the bottom, so it gets kind of heavier as it gets on the bottom line here. Okay. Let's see this line here. Something looks funny. Yep, it's dashed. Let me take that off. Back to my width tool. Okay, I'm going to do this one on the, whoops, grab the wrong one. I oh, forget it, I'll go to this one. This is where I was heading originally. Okay, thicker. Okay, I don't mind the way that goes thick to thin like that. I think I'll leave it for now. I'm trying to grab this one here. Okay, so I'm just going to the lower area, I guess is my thinking here, to make that thicker. Make this slightly thinner up in the corner. And then probably thicker as I come around here on the bottom again. This one again, I'm just going thicker in the bottom. And maybe thinner towards the point. Whoops, I'm trying to grab that line. There we go, there it is. And here the hand, this little crease. I'm going to make it a little thinner. Keep it a little thick and chunky there in the finger of the bottom. Don't want it to look too pointy. Okay, thinner. Thinner, keep it thick there. Make it a little thinner up here. And a little thicker around the bottom there. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, so um, just looking at it all now, and it's a little uneven. So you can see over this hand, it looks very illustrated. Well, not very, but it looks a lot more illustrated as I have a lot thicker to thin lines going than I do on the rest of it. And I kind of like the way it looks, actually. But it doesn't quite fit the rest. So I have to decide whether I want to continue kind of making the lines thick to thin like I did there as extreme, or if I want to just tone it down a bit. Um, let's see. I think some parts could be a little adjusted. Adjusted a little. And... 
just so it's not quite as extreme. And then let's see. I think, and I think I could maybe bump up the uh, width on other parts of this guy. Kind of find a little, little happy medium there. You know, I think I need to make that thick. Okay, so I'm going to try and match it a little bit on this side. Let's go a little thicker. Bring it down a little bit. And I think I need to make that. So I'm going to isolate this line here. I'm going to lock it. So I can go in here and get this. Go a little thicker there. And move my point so it doesn't cross. Okay, then I'll unlock it. Okay, I like the thick to thin on the fingers here. That looks fine to me. And let's see if I can go a little wider. I think that was too much. Just making the bottom line thicker there, since it is the bottom. And, and I think just the face might need it just a smidge. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm just looking again for any inconsistencies. So see how thick this sleeve is there, and then it isn't as thick on that side. So I'm going to, again, find a little happy medium here. Shift W, bring it down just, well, not that much, just a little. Then bring this one up a bit. just a little bit just to make some separation there okay let's see how that looks okay giving it a uh, once over here and uh, yeah I think I'm good to go all right I'll see you in the next video and we'll start coloring this thing